Two years ago, a shattering ultrasound tape depicting a 12-week abortion in progress was released to the world in the film The Silent Scream. Predictably, the film generated a storm of controversy. Pro-abortion critics contended that the speed of the film had been manipulated, that I personally had participated in that abortion, that the fetus was more than 12 weeks of age, and that the fetus did not move away from the abortionist's instruments. Those assertions were all inaccurate and incorrect. Now for the first time, we have an interview with the physician who actually did that abortion in the silent scream. Bear in mind that he is the only qualified witness to that procedure. And he has now volunteered to come forward and present his testimony. Please give me your name. Jay Collinson. What is your age? 38. You are a physician? Yes, I am. A specialist? Specialist in obstetrics and gynecology. Are you what is called a board certified specialist? Yes. Do you teach your specialty to residents? Yes, we all have the opportunity to teach uh, residents and interns. During your residency training, were you taught how to do abortions? Yes, we were. Was such instruction purely technical in nature, or was there any discussion of ethics of abortion? No, it was purely technical training. There was really never any discussion over the ethical aspects of this procedure. How many abortion clinics have you worked at? Oh. Uh, three or four that I can recall right now. How long did you work at these clinics? I started working at them uh, the last year of my training in 1979, and I think the last time I worked in one was in 1982. In those years you worked at abortion clinics, did you notice any significant personality changes in yourself? Yes, I did. Significant changes. Uh, not initially. But after perhaps six months, uh, irritable, on edge, rather uh, down on myself. How many abortions would you think you performed in your career? I'd say I probably performed 10,000 or more. When you were working at these clinics, how many abortions would you perform in a day? Well, there were times when I would go to two different clinics on a Saturday morning. Uh, the first one, I may perform seven or eight abortions, and then the second clinic, I may perform 20 or 25. Uh, I can remember days when I would do 30, 35 abortions. Doctor, it is said that you were the abortionist in the film, The Silent Scream. Is that true? Yes, that's true. There have been many allegations about The Silent Scream of deceit, manipulation of the tape, misrepresentation of the film, etc. May I ask you some questions about that film to clear the air once and for all? Absolutely. You did the actual abortion depicted in that film. Why have you not spoken till now? Because there has been some controversy in this area uh, with respect to the validity of, validity of this tape. Uh, and I think it was time now that uh, once and for all we did clear the air. How far along was that pregnancy which we saw aborted in the silent scream? It was about 12 weeks. That was the allowable limit at the clinic? Well, one could have perform that abortion up to 16 weeks, but that was the, the limit which I personally set for myself. Were you watching the ultrasound screen while doing the abortion? Yes, I was. Is there any doubt in your mind that the fetus moved away from your instruments during the abortion? No, no doubt whatsoever. Was there any doubt in your mind during the procedure that at one point, as you watched the screen, the fetus opened its mouth? No, I have no doubt about that either. It is claimed that it was not necessary for you to crush the head of that fetus. 
with an instrument. You did that abortion, doctor. Did you or did you not crush the head of that fetus? Yes, I did. I used a grasping forceps and crushed the head of the fetus to extract it. Did you note, as you watched the screen while you were doing that abortion, that the heart rate of that fetus increased significantly during the time you were stalking the fetus in the uterus? I didn't uh, uh, see that at the time that I actually performed the abortion. But after I had subsequently reviewed the tape and saw the procedure, I did see that. The actual abortion depicted in the silent scream took seven to eight minutes. Is that how long it took you to do that abortion? Yes. Was there any manipulation of the tape? No, none whatsoever. Did anyone deliberately alter the speed of the tape, except to show particularly important sequences in slow motion or freeze frames? Absolutely not. Was the speed of the tape ever increased beyond normal to simulate hyperactivity of the fetus? Absolutely not. Did Dr. Nathanson participate in any way with this abortion? No, he did not. Was he in the room? He was not in the room. He was not, uh, he wasn't, wasn't even in the city at that time. Did Dr. Nathanson pay you to do that abortion? No, he did not. You are not pro-life, are you? No, I am not. What was your reaction when you first saw the tape played back? I was horrified at what I had seen. Yeah. And, uh, because I never really understood what was going on at the time that I was doing abortions. But here I was sitting at the edge of the table doing this procedure and actually visualizing, visualizing what was going on inside that woman's womb, that there was actually a fetus in there. And I don't believe that physicians make that connection because it's a, it's a blind procedure. But having done that and seen that, I was horrified. Was it your impression after viewing the tape that the fetus moved away from your instruments felt some perhaps primitive type of pain, reacted in some primitive way to what you were doing to it? This, this event is, will forever be implanted in my mind, so I have clear recall of the situation. And I remember when I began the procedure that the fetus violently began moving within the uterus. Uh, no doubt in my mind that there was some perception of impending doom that this uh, uh, living thing was uh, experiencing. Dr. Nathanson claims in the film that after you saw the tape, you were revolted by what you saw and you will not do any more abortions on demand. Is that true? That's correct. I believe that was, the, that was the last time that I walked into an abortion clinic. Would you do second trimester late abortions, D and E's, even for medical reasons? No, I, I, absolutely not. I mean, that, that is probably the most horrifying procedure I can think about. I, I, there's just just absolutely no way that I would ever do that. Planned Parenthood claims the film, The Silent Scream, is riddled with scientific, medical, and legal inaccuracies, misleading statements, and exaggerations. You were the one who actually did the abortion in The Silent Scream, and you made the tape. Do you agree with Planned Parenthood's allegations? Absolutely not. Uh, there was no manipulation of that tape. There was no uh, misrepresentation. Uh, what one sees with that ultrasound tape is was actually what happened at that time. Uh, I have nothing to gain by 
by doing that take. I, mean, I am not a pro-life person, uh, but I can unequivocally state that there was no alterations, that that tape is in fact true. is a true tape it is a it, it, that, that is what happened what do you say to Planned Parenthood's panel of medical experts who claim the film is full of misleading and inaccurate scientific data I think they're the ones that are giving the misleading statements because having done that film having performed that abortion I can again unequivocally state that there is no misrepresentation that is a true abortion, and, and the, the, the ultrasound depicts exactly what that fetus was experiencing at that time. Scientifically and in all ways? And always. Let's sum it up, doctor. You are still pro-choice. Yes. You still do abortions for medical reasons. Yes, I do. Dr. Nathanson has not paid you or persuaded you to speak as you have today. No, he didn't. It is your testimony that the film, The Silent Scream, is truthful and accurate because you did that abortion. You made that ultrasound tape, doctor. There were no manipulations, deceptions, untruths, scientific errors, or inaccuracies, which would invalidate any part of the tape of that abortion in The Silent Scream, or of the claims made in the film about what happened in that abortion. Is that correct? That is correct. Any questions? 